Hello there, welcome to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to take out a one that is um, quite different. It's, we've certainly never taken a look at anything like this one before. And this is the Cayano or Ciano CF Stone 80. It's actually a plastic hollow stone or a rock with a filter in the middle. So the stone or the filter holds your pump, all your media and your foams. And if you look at that on the front of there, it actually looks quite lifelike. However, when you get it out of the box, you'll find that it looks like a grey alien's baldy head. Now, that's okay, but it doesn't really look much like a stone. <laughs> it looks like a big lump of plastic. If you wanted to, you could cover this with super glue and roll it in coarse sand and you could get quite a nice rough texture to it. Or you could super glue Java moss onto it and just have a big furry mossy ball. That would look pretty awesome in the bottom of your tank. But as it is, it really does look quite smooth. Okay, now the idea behind this is it just sits on the bottom of your tank, it draws water in through the slits at the back, it goes through a series of sponges and filter media, then the water is pumped up and returns via a spray bar. So if you could disguise this with the ideas that I mentioned before, with the sand or the moss, that would actually look pretty good. And it's got quite a neat design feature as well because this flat cable can actually run up a little ridge here on the inside of the spray bar. There you go. That's pretty good. I like that idea. It's a nice touch. Now this is primarily marketed for people with turtle tanks because turtle generally need quite a lot of filtration and a lot of the internal filters don't offer that much filtration. Will this one? Well, wait until I show you inside and I'll give you my views on whether it would or not. But the concept is good. Now the pump in here pumps around about 380 litres per hour which is 100 US gallons per hour. So it hasn't got a massive turnover rate, but it's quite a passive sort of a filter. As long as this has plenty of good stuff inside it, it should help to keep the water healthy. Whether it does or not, will entirely depend on what is in here. So let's take a look inside. Now before I take the back off and show you what's inside here, I just want to say that this was actually sent to me by a guy called Gary Orr, who owns the Aquatic Center at South Shields, which is an aquatic store. I haven't had the opportunity to visit that unfortunately, and I'll also put links to his shop and his website in the video description. And it was actually a guy called James who kind of put us in touch with Gary and sorted it out and so on. So thank you Gary, thank you James. An added bonus is that Gary wants to give this filter away. I'm going to actually pimp it up and then I'm going to give it away in a future video. So watch out for that. Right then, let's take a look at what comes in here from the manufacturer. And I'll warn you now, you're going to be sorely disappointed. That's it. There's a block of foam there, with a hole through the middle. That's obviously meant to be used for something else, as far as I can see. You'd expect to see that on the intake of a hang on the back filter, or maybe it's used in a little internal filter or something. No need for that to have a hole in. And then we've got one cartridge, which is called Biobact. I honestly have no idea what it does but it's meant to last 140 days. And then we've got two cartridges, 
which are called water clear. Again, you've got something in. You would take these out of the plastic wrappers and slot them into the various points here. But there's three come with the filter. But in here, you've actually got room for one, two, three, four, five. So the obvious question is, why the hell doesn't it come with five? I guess that's a question only the manufacturer can answer. Let's see how we can improve this simply. Okay, just in case you couldn't fathom out exactly where the water flows, I'll just show you the back of the box. Now this shows it with five cartridges. Remember there was only three came. So water comes in here through the slits. It then can go through all of these different compartments, ultimately ending up in the pump and getting returned back to the tank. Okay, that's what it comes with, and I'm going to set this up in real time so you can see that it is a really, really simple setup. Cartridges out. Sponge out. New sponge, which is coarse and medium, in. Filter media in. Medium density forms, cut to size. In. Base plate, on. Jobs are good. So, what, if anything, have I done to improve this filter? Well, let's take a look. So the water still comes in the same way. It then goes all over, through these various compartments, ultimately ends up in the pump, and gets pumped out back to our tank. But you can see that every single part of this is used for something, whether that's foam or whether it's filter media. And although that packs in very tight, because it's ball shape, the water can still get through around the various pieces. So there you go. That is different to say the least. Okay, so I've emptied that out and that, believe it or not, 555 grams is how much we managed to fit in there. And that is called bio-gravel. It's incredible stuff. It's a porous gravel made from exactly the same stuff as bio-home. And looking at that and the available space in there, you'd never think that all that fit in there, but it did. So there you go. Fits in that neat little box there. And as I say, I like the concept of it. The execution leaves a little bit to be desired, but we've added quite a lot of media in there. And this one is recommended for tanks between 40 and 80 litres. Now that's 
pretty much not far off the way it's upgraded now because we've got 555 grams of filter media plus those foams in there. Generally, you'd use one kilo of media per 100 liters. Actually, rewind. Let's go back. I'll put that into Imperial as well for you guys in the US, just in case these are available in the US. So 550 grams of media, that's about a pound of media. And normally, for a normally stocked tank, you would use one kilo, which is 2.2 pounds, per 100 litres. So it's suitable for a tank of around 50 litres or 13 US gallons. As far as a turtle filter goes, I know that these are sold and recommended as filters for turtle tanks. I don't agree with keeping turtles at all in tanks. They need space, they need to be in ponds, you know, they're, they're a big messy creature. Having them in a tank is cruel. So I cannot recommend this filter or indeed any filter for filtering a turtle tank. You know, put them in a pond or if better still, don't buy them in the first place, you know, because invariably they'll outgrow the tank and end up in a pond. As far as a filter for fish tanks go, yeah, I think it's okay. If it was made with like a, a rough sandy texture, it would be even better. And better still, if it was made to look like a proper rock, it would be awesome. But as I mentioned before, if you cover it in super glue and stick Java moss to it, you're just going to end up with a mossy ball and your filter's going to be in there. That's going to be really, really nice. I would like to see it much better set up inside, which hopefully you'll agree it is now, but I do like the idea. So if you want to check these filters out, I'll put a link to them in the video description, and I'll also put a link to the Aquatic Center at South Shields in the video description as well, so please check them out. Thanks for watching, I shall see you next time, and remember, if you've got a filter you want me to take a look at, just get in touch. Contact details are in the pinned comment and the video description.